Welcome back to another video in the inventory and crafting system tutorial series and today I want to add some skeletal pickups to our system as of right now we are only using the static meshes I'm gonna use the my equipment is gonna still stay as a static equipment but I'm gonna have some skeletal weapons uh, so what I have downloaded is in my assets folder I have the military weapon dark pack it's available on marketplace for free it comes with quite a few interesting weapons we have the assault rifles grenade launchers pistols rocket launchers shotguns and sniper rifles we're gonna try to add all of these to our game essentially and if you have let's say you have the skeletal equipment pieces the difference is not big when it comes to actually equipping them the, the idea is basically the same all you got to do would be probably set the animations to use the same animation blueprint as your character does so first thing that we need to do to implement the skeletal meshes is go to our inventory structure so i have my s inventory structure and here we need to provide another input so let's give this another entry and i'm gonna call this skeletal mesh and the type obviously as well is going to be the skeletal mesh I already have a static mesh so I'm gonna move this up so that it aligns next to and by default I'm gonna leave this at none because I'm gonna check on the pickups if we have set the skeletal mesh and if the skeletal mesh is available in this specific item then we're gonna use that one and that's gonna be our identification if you want to use both then you probably need a boolean value which will tell you that hey use this one instead of the other one so let's save this let's close this let's now go to our items database and let's add some entries so I'm gonna add a new entry and I'm gonna start with a pistol so what I did was important thing would be the type as of right now I'm gonna use weapon because that's what we use as of right now and we need to reuse this for now once uh, while we are still testing things later on we will change this to a different type but as of right now weapon is what we need and also the top pose index should be at 1 so that later on when we actually equip these things we could change the top pose and now we also need the actor, actor class for the equipment so let's go to our equipment folder and we have our pickups I'm just gonna duplicate one of the weapons and I'm gonna rename this to be equipment equip pistol let's open this up and by default well this uses a static mesh but I need a skeletal so let's add a skeletal mesh like so make sure it's in the same hierarchy and then we want to add a pistol and there we go so we have our pistol and let's see probably I already know that this is not gonna be in the correct location we want it to be we probably want to rotate this in the same direction as we have for our current weapon so I'm gonna remove the static mesh like so and now let's go back to our items database and let's add this to the class so we have the equip pistol let's save this now what we can do is simply duplicate one of our pickups change the item from the palette to the pistol there we go save this let's press play as of right now it's gonna be a cube let's pick up the cube press I we have a pistol let's equip the pistol yes as you can see well we have the pistol in our hand but it's not exactly like we want it to so let's make sure we adjust this properly I assume I shouldn't have have all we want to do is move this up a bit and that's basically all we want to do so let's make sure we do so and then the pistol there we go our guy is holding a pistol and everything seems to be just fine now let's make sure we fix our pickup so that it actually shows us the actual weapon instead of having a cube because by default the static mesh is a cube and that's what gets displayed so let's go to our master pickup and what we need to do is go to our construction script first and here we are setting the static mesh once we get the information from our database so what I want to do over here is I want to open up my structure and look for the skeletal mesh and I want to make check if this is equal to well nothing we're not gonna provide the other results so this is gonna check whether it actually is set or not so let's do an if using this as the condition there we go now if this is true that means we haven't set any skeletal mesh for this specific item so we can just simply set the static mesh now if this is false that means something is 
in the skeletal mesh. So what we want to do is first we want to add a skeletal mesh to this pickup. Let's add a skeletal mesh and then in the construction script we can drag that in and we can set skeletal skeletal mesh there we go set skeletal mesh on false and the new mesh is going to be the skeletal mesh from our structure like so and also what we want to do is we want to hide our static mesh so what I'm gonna do is drag this in so we have the static mesh and all I simply want to do is just set a static mesh for this and just leave leave the new mesh empty so that's gonna set it to an empty mesh and it's not gonna be existing so if we go to the viewport let's select our item and by default let's change this from a crate to a pistol as you can see we have the pistol by default I'm also gonna change the amount to one so when I drag in the things I don't have to change the amount it's gonna be one uh, already by default then so now the last issue that we will have is that this thing is not going to have any physics because, well, physics are handled by the static mesh for us and it has physics set on it, but well, for the skeletal there isn't any physics available to us. So what we want to do is go to the construction script and here where we set the static mesh, let's bring in our skeletal and what we want to do is simply set the skeletal mesh to an empty value so nothing just like we did for the static one then that means that in the components panel we can select our skeletal mesh change this to be whatever mesh we want it to be and simply simulate physics just like we did for the static one and also we want to scroll down a little bit to collisions and on the collision preset from I have no collision as of right now I want to block all everything seems to be working just fine the only thing that we need to do is change up the so that it glows just like all the other pickups we have so let's go back to our pickup master and in the event graph what we want to do is drag in our skeletal mesh and we want to plug in this into all of these targets like so so that's gonna do exactly the same thing for the skeletal and for the static mesh and this will work just fine so now if we give this one more test you can see once we hover over the weapon it is glowing through our character and everything is still working just fine so we have equipped our pistol now real quick I'm gonna do the same thing for a bunch of other weapons so I'm gonna add a few entries to the database so I've created the sniper and assault rifle uh, equipment actors and all I simply did was just change the skeletal mesh. I didn't rotate, move it, nothing whatsoever. All I did was just change the skeletal mesh and also in the database I added those two entries and changed the meshes and actors and all that stuff over here and also for the uh, rifles both of these I've changed the top pose index to be two uh, that's not gonna be used in this video but well we're gonna need this in the future so let's give this a try so let's try this so the pistol as you can see here he is holding it nicely then let's give this a try with a rifle rifle is getting held nice and same goes for the sniper rifle it is getting held like we want it to. So I'm gonna change a few things in the future. Um, all I'm gonna allow is to hold uh, only one one of these weapons at a time. We're not gonna be able to populate both of our hands like we did with the uh, battle axes. The battle axes are still gonna be left with ability to have two in our arms but for the guns I'm only gonna hold one gun at a time and also as of right now because of the placement of the sockets you can see well this is looking a little bit funny the weapon is upside down we could adjust this later uh, but uh, right now I don't feel like doing so it's not really necessary because well everything for the static weapons is working the way we want it to and if we want to do some adjustments for the skeletal meshes then we need to have all of them be aligned in the same axis uh, because I mentioned this previously already and what I mean by the positioning in the rotations are that our static weapons right now are in this rotation like so 
but our skeletal ones are looking like this and we should then if we want to adjust so that we can hold multiple weapons and use exactly the same sockets then in that case well we need to adjust the pivot points in the modeling software but the goal is to create this somewhat of a survivalish type of inventory something like maybe closer to daisy perhaps a little bit uh, so i'm only going to be able to hold one weapon at a time unless it's like a knife or a axe now the last thing left for us to do is probably you already noticed that in our character preview once we equip a weapon there is a huge cube and it is not displaying the weapon that is because well our preview actor doesn't really know how to handle skeletal act uh, skeletal meshes all it knows is how to handle the static one so let's work on this first what we want to do is add the skeletal meshes to our actor we want to add more components so let's add a skeletal mesh and all I'm going to do is call this skel weapon 1 and then I'm going to have skel weapon 2 and skel weapon 3. There we go. So we have three of those just like we have for the static ones. If you have more obviously you need to add more. Then let's start with first function I have is set mesh locations. And so what we want to do over here is I'm going to move this back a little bit and in the local variables I'm going to add a local scale and this will be the skeletal mesh because we're going to adjust the location just like we did for the static ones. So we want to set those on every one of the entries where we are using the weapons. So the number three, four and five. So let's set those like so and just like previously what we want to do is connect our actual components. So the skeletal weapon one goes up here and actually instead of using a skeletal mesh we need to use a skeletal mesh component because that's what we are setting so we need to change this. There we go, we changed the type, so now this is going to be pluggable because, well, we are not using a skeletal mesh, we are using a skeletal mesh component in this case. So now this is going to work the way it should, we can plug all of those in. So now from the weapons, I will do a similar thing, I'm going to attach component to a component, attach component to component, there we go, plug all three of these executions in this node, and then from this node we want to go to the static one because well we want to set the locations for all of these uh, once we actually create this thing and then for the target we want to use our local scale for the parent we want to use the mesh from the character there we go and for the socket name well we want to use our local socket name and just like for the this node for the location rotation rules we want this to be snapped to the target there we go so everything is exactly the same the only difference is that this uses a local scale and this uses a local mesh so we are good with this function let's move on to the next one remove equipment and over here what we want to do is something very similar so let's drag in our skeletals so our skeletal weapon and we want to set the skeletal mesh and we want to set this to be an empty value so let's copy this two more times plug in the executions like so so now for the second one we want to use the skeletal weapon 2 and the skeletal weapon 3 and that is as simple as it gets for removing it. Now let's move on to the set equipment mesh and this one is also going to be super similar to what we've already done. We are using a local mesh which in this case is a static mesh instead of being a static mesh component. So let's add a new variable and let's call this local scale and let's change this from this one to be the simply the skeletal mesh not the component just the mesh so let's set this after we set the local mesh and for the skeletal well we want to use the one from our structure so the skeletal mesh from the item and over here so that we wouldn't have a bunch of different nodes uh, we're going to create a function for this but well I'm gonna show you the way how usually I think about how to make things a little bit more automatic how to reuse functions first I'm gonna create one over here so what we essentially want to do is before we set the mesh we want to do a if branch check because we want to check if our local skeleton 
is equal to nothing just like we did previously so let's check if this is if this is nothing if it, it's non-existing and if it's not existing so if this is true then we want to set a skeletal mesh so let's set skeletal mesh and in this case I'm gonna just gonna select weapon one it doesn't really matter as much as of right now and then we want to populate this with our skeletal local scale like so and if this is false well then we can use our static mesh and this should look something like this but well to recreate this for all of these is gonna be quite messy so what I'm gonna do is simply select all of these nodes right click them and collapse this to a function and I'm gonna call this check static or skeletal there we go we have this set up now let's open this up and let's change some small details what we want to do is plug in this one into the entries as well so let's move this up and this needs to be our skeletal mesh there we go we have a skeletal so let's call this scale and the other one is going to be the static there we go skeletal and static and also what we want to do is add two more entries and this is going to be the scale pos so skeletal position and also i'm going to have a static position and so the first one the skeletal position needs to be the skeletal mesh component and the other one needs to be the static mesh component so essentially what we are passing along is uh, how can i make this bigger well, I guess I can't. Uh, so we are passing along the skeletal mesh and the static mesh. And also we are passing along one of these components. So we are pushing along the skeletal component and also the static components. So now with this being added, we can remove this, the local scale, weapon mesh one, local scale and skeletal weapon and plug in simply things from our inputs. So for the skeletal mesh check, this is all correct, all good. Now for these nodes over here, so for the skeletal mesh target, we want to use the skeletal position. And for the static mesh target, we want to use the static position. Now for the meshes, for the skeletal mesh, we want to use the skeletal mesh. And for the static mesh, new mesh, we want to use the static mesh, like so. And I messed the true and false around. So if this, if we are checking whether the skeletal is empty, if this is true, we want to set the static one. So let's disconnect the executions and move these the other way around. So basically, if this is true, if the skeletal is empty, we want to use the static one. If the skeletal is not empty, then we want to use the skeletal one. Compile and save this. Go back to our set equipment mesh. And now we can populate these values. So for the skeletal, we want to use our local scale, which we got from our item. So the skeletal, right? So the static one is our local mesh. Skeletal position is our weapon one component. Scale weapon one and static position is our weapon one mesh. There we go. We've plugged those in. Now we can delete these last two and copy this node two more times for the other two weapons that we have right now. So let's connect the execution four and five. Now again, skeletal mesh is our, so I'm gonna move my skeletal mesh out a little bit. Now the static one is our local mesh. Skeleton position is our skeleton weapon two and static position is our weapon two mesh. There we go. And exactly the same thing for the last one. So the skeletal is local scale, static is local mesh. Skeleton position is scale weapon number three and static position is weapon three mesh there we go so we've set this up compile and save this and i believe as of right now we should be all good let's see so we have the rifle there we go you can see the guy is holding a rifle in the preview as well now let's try to give him a sniper rifle which he's holding as well and the same should go for our pistol there we go our character is holding the weapon in-game and also in the preview window as well.
So that's gonna be it for today's video. Now we have we are starting to add our weapons to the game, so this is gonna get quite a bit more interesting. We're gonna adjust the animations later so that the top poses would change, and also we're eventually going to shoot from these weapons. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe. We are closing in on 5,000 subscribers. That gets me really excited for the future. And yeah, thank you for watching, and I see you in the next video.